What's your thoughts and reaction to LeBron with how he's performing on the Olympic stage? To me, he seems like he's the best player on Team USA. And if that's the case, if you agree with that, how was LeBron James at 40 years old almost not the best player in the world? I want your reaction. Uh, first of all, I don't think he's the best player on the Team USA. And I think that with him... <laughs> What's, what's regarded, if you, if you think about LeBron James, he has had the most rest out of all of those teams, um, all of those players that's pretty much on that roster. Why? Because he went out in the first round and a lot of the key players on that team actually were playing. So uh, when it comes to that, uh, he is... He, he he has came and he has hijacked the USA team. Steve Kerr has allowed him to sit on the ball and pat that thing like he always does. And, and win games. And, and win and, games. And, 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 and win very, very close games that they should be blowing everybody out in. Just like, hey, just like it's been for the last couple of years in the, in, in the Lakerland, right? Just saying. You know, the disrespect you have for what we're <laughs> witnessing is at an all-time high, especially when we're watching it on an international level. It's insane. It's really insane. You know, Team USA would have lost a couple exhibition games potentially if it wasn't for GOAT James, and yet you still yeah. want to sit here and, no. and not give this man credit. So let me ask you this, because, you know, they got the uh, South Sudan team coming up this week, up next, right, in group play. You know, they played them hard. First game, Jason Tatum was benched by Steve Kerr in the first game of group play. He's expected to play um, in this next game. How do you think LeBron and, and Team USA is going to handle their next matchup or rematch? I, I think they're going to uh, – I think they're going to they, – they didn't have KD the first game, right? Right. And I feel like they have a, they have another – they have another option that they're gonna have uh, in Kevin Durant, which is still, still one of the top players in the world, similar to LeBron, and I think he's gonna cause problems because he's the most unguardable person probably in all of the Olympics uh, this year. Like in the world right now, in the Olympic Games, he's the most unguardable. Why? Because he's seven foot crossing over, and if he's hitting that fifteen footer, fifteen to sixteen footer, nothing but money and cash, it's over with. Who's the best player on Team USA? Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is the best player, or is he? I be, I will say he's the X factor because <laughs> he's been out of the all the exhibition. They don't really nobody really has any type of uh the X factor. <laughs> yeah, I give him the X factor. But are you saying he's the best player? Or you're saying he's better than LeBron James? That is insane. Yes, Kevin Durant is better than LeBron James. He is. All right. Yes. All right. I, if I, if for international play. But if we go, if, if this was an international play and we go back to NBA rules, then LeBron is a better player. So going into what we've seen so far, I know it's early, but we've got the exhibition games. We've gotten one game in the Olympics. Have LeBron impressed you more than what you expected him to do so far? Nah, he's because he's doing the same exact thing he's been doing his whole career is give me the ball and I want to make and I'm the one that's going to make all the decisions when he even when he doesn't have to. And that's a detriment to the team. This is why the games are close. You said earlier, oh, my gosh, when it comes to go, James, you know, he's doing this and he's doing that is incredible. And I, hey, it's only incredible because it looks because they win him by one or two points. But if he wasn't even playing on this team, they probably will be winning by 10 to 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ball will be free oh. flowing. Everything. So the disease of LeBron making his teammates bad in Los Angeles has now went to Paris, and he's he's pretty much uh, hindering their progress, like he does D'Lo and them. Rui, that's what you're telling me. Seven, aren't you? I know, I know, I know. LeBron's your guy. I know he's your guy, but aren't you tired of him hijacking all of these franchises and teams? No, he, no, he, he's why? winning because he's winning. Is he really winning? Is he? Really is he winning? not? Is he he's not? not? He won no, a he won good. an NBA championship four years ago, less than four years ago. His fourth in three but, destinations. Uh, right right now, back. we're going into the Olympics, and he's he's hey. winning games for Team USA. Let me let me go ahead and write down the bubble gum championship. He won one bubble gum. 
Let me get a pack. Now, let me get a pack. B- hey, let me get a pack of gum for me. Let me get, let me get a pack now, of gum real quick. <laughs> now, BA, the the you talk about this bubble championship. You know they're coming out with a documentary on the Lakers run on 2020. How mad and how mad are you going to be when that drop? I'm not going to compare it to Last Dance, but you know it's going to be fire. You have the tragedy of Kobe. You got the pandemic. As far as drama, it's going to be one of the greatest documentaries I think it's going to be made. So how mad are you going to be when it releases? The only reason why it's going to be one of the best documentaries to you that you're anticipating is because they won the they won a pack of bubble gum. They definitely won really? a pack of bubble gum. But the hardest championship, they said that's the hardest championship in history, in NBA yeah, history, was the co- bubble gum. Of, co- of course they're going to say that because they won. No, I'm not. The Lakers wasn't the only ones that said that. Who uh okay, they were like, Oh man, we can't go out, we can't go out and do what we want to do. We gotta stay in this secluded Disney. That's right. We gotta stay, we gotta stay in nice ass Disney World. So that's what yeah, we can <laughs> No home court advantage, no fans. That's right. That's right. That was Talk they was it. a they was a come on, man. You played pickup ball before. It's much easier to play pickup ball than being in a, a freaking arena with I don't know, 20, 30, 40 thousand people. Come on, they was just playing pickup ball. Come on, man. They were, hey, they were, they didn't even need the refs for real. They was like subbing each other out, man. Come on, man. You had the fake people on the screen. Come on, man. That was pickup game. They was playing at UCLA low-key. Mm. <laughs> Laker land. We're going to pray for BA as LeBron leads Team USA to a gold medal. And we're going to keep you guys posted on the progress here at Laker land. <laughs> For the latest and greatest on your Los Angeles Lakers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and we appreciate the support. Follow us on social media at Lakerland Show and join our Playback TV room for our free VIP access to our Lakers watch parties. And of course, the Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakerland.